increase they've been fighting for, but it came with a price tag, Raleigh firefighters say, they did not know about. Good evening, I'm Sean Maroney. And I'm Sharon Taswell. Thanks for joining us. Those changes involve vacation time, sick leave, holiday pay, and promotions. CBS North Carolina's Amy Cutler digging deeper into the changes. Amy. Sharon, Councilman David Cox tells me he looked through the consent agenda and didn't see anything about this policy change in it. And he tells me there should have been further discussion. Almost three months after the Raleigh City Council approved pay raises for firefighters, they passed changes in employee policy. Many firefighters say they amount to a pay cut. If I had to work on a Saturday, I already had to take two days off to have that weekend off. Uh, now it's going to take me more time to accrue that. It's going to cost me about nine vacation days a year. That's because the vacation accrual changed under the new policy. As a 15-year veteran of the Raleigh Fire Department, Nick Rhodes used to earn 1.75 days per month. Under the new policy, seniority doesn't get you more time. Every firefighter would get one day. It also changes sick leave, holiday pay, and promotions. We want answers. We want to know how this got put into a consent agenda, how it was passed. It passed as part of the consent agenda at the last city council meeting. Councilman David Cox voted for it. It looked to me like this was a routine matter to help us implement the new pay structures that went into effect in July. Cox says he and other city council members didn't realize what they'd voted for. The mayor and city manager weren't available for comment. In a statement, the city said, the policies that were unanimously adopted at the last council meeting were intended to address some inconsistencies we have across our organization. According to attachments in the agenda, the city has been reviewing the issue for two years. The last policy change took place in 1984. A city so spokesman get, saying any uh, council member packet, could have pulled an or, item uh, in the consent agenda. Now, police officers are also impacted by this. The Raleigh chapter of the PBA saying in a statement, we are disappointed that something as important as employee benefits was placed on the consent agenda with no discussion and passed unanimously by our city council without anyone knowing. Now, police and firefighters now hoping that some changes are made. The Civil Service Commission expected to take up the matter at its meeting tomorrow. The city council also expected to discuss the, the matter that's expected to happen at its meeting next week. Live in Raleigh, I'm Amy Cutler, CBS North Carolina. Amy, 